All right, welcome back to my Let's Play tutorial of They Are Billions, picking up at day 37. See, we have, what, 11 more days until the next swarm comes? Oh, there's some zombies coming right there. Eh, just a few. Little idiots. And just some hanging around, loitering. Damn kids, loitering. Just to put up signs for, for the zombies, no loitering. All right, let's put another ballista tower. I like to put one here too. Bam! And let's put one uh, right here. Or should we put it over here? And yeah, no, let's put it right here. Oh yeah. At your service. This guy didn't, as I said before in one of the videos, sometimes. If you tell them to go into a tower, they won't all make it in there for some reason. They'll just sort of hang out <laughs> at the base of the tower, which is not very useful. I mean, they can still fight, but they get protective and offensive bonuses in the tower. So it really behooves you to make sure they're all inside. All right. Well, that shores that up. Now, we are sort of running low on workers now. See, we only have eight. So, we should probably start to build more housing. There's the train. Let's see what our housing... So we could start building new housing across the street, across the tracks here. Which I guess we should do. We can also upgrade the cottages. But from now we're going to start building stone houses. I'm going to build a few new stone houses. Well, I guess I'll build two, stu bleh, two stone houses. Let's just this upgrading for the, for the uh, regular houses, the cottages. But as you see, we also need Mamsis. We need more energy. So, let's build another mill or two. One of the problems we're going to have, perhaps, on the supply side of things, is that our, the mills, these basic mills that I have, are not the best energy building. They're in fact the, the, the lowest and weakest, and I haven't upgraded them all. You can get like a, at least one upgrade for them. But I've been trying to save my upgrade points for other things this time. So we need more workers. So we're gonna have to wait until that is finished. The reason for being lonely. We're gonna have them go out though. We can get them started on clearing stuff out. Every day. Straight to the heart. Straight to the heart. Upgrade that to stone. We have one thing to repair. Okay, see? It? Now we're gonna ha start having them clear. Oh, there's an incursion coming right here. A slow zombie. But the, the gunfire is gonna start attracting zombies from all over the place. This whole surrounding area. With any luck, we can start. Oh, wow, look at. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that incursion. It's even. Some of the big chubby ones are coming too. Jeez. Well, we'll let our walls. Oh, you see that? Ooh, harpy, harpy. Let us uh, go back a bit. Oh no. So we're getting somewhere. We're getting uh, promotions. Oh, one of those chubbies. Oh, I think a ranger just died. No, 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 he didn't. Oh, here's that. <laughs> Look at that. They're getting greased. That's utterly efficient and beautiful. So, that's good. Let's see, we have now more people because we got these, the, the workers from these stone houses, which gives us 24 workers and we have 67 energy. All right, well, let's see, what should we do now? I think we should build some more soldiers. And I think I'm gonna build a couple snipers for this group as well. 
and let's build another house. Pause, because like I said, it's really good to pause when you're about to build something, because if you do a mistake, you get all your resources back if it's paused. If you don't, then you make a mistake You only get, and you have to undo it, you get only a fraction of it, and that's kind of annoying when it's these more expensive buildings. Now, if you saw, there's some dead area right here. So I think we need to build another energy building, um, pylon. So I don't want to make it in, so it's in the way of the houses, but we do want to get it with one. Let's see. What's the... Okay, right there. That should be good, right? Yeah. Right there. Good. And you remember I said earlier that a good idea is to build another... No, not... No, that right here. Build a second soldier barracks. Or soldier center, if you like. <laughs> or even if you don't like. That way you can... You can build, a, you know, beef up your army much more quickly and in a pinch than if, than if you only have one. There's upgrades that can help you make your soldiers train faster, but I don't have any of them unlocked right now. And you can mitigate the, the effect of, you know, the slowness of training to a certain degree by building more than one barracks. All right. Understood. Now one of the good things of sending them out here, not only will we uh, eliminate Let's go. the zombies that are out here that will all swarm us at the, during the last swarm, they'll join in like I said, but we can get these, we can get these soldiers and rangers promoted to veteran status which will make them much more powerful for when they have to assault this nasty area up here. So I'm telling you, it is not, not pretty. Ah, here's a big fatty right there. Look at fatty, fatty, fat, fat, fat. Here he comes. Kill him. Yeah. Yeah, we're, see, he just got promoted right there. Good. Are these rangers promoted? Yeah, these rangers are promoted already. That's good. Let's go see what's going on over here. We are having... Okay, right there. Ah, here it is. Let's train... Some more snipers to go with this group. Having more snipers is actually pretty dang helpful in the... Because you have enough snipers and you put them all onto... Uh, target highest level. They can really... Um, cut through the uh, the more powerful zombies that you're facing so that they don't come up there and just tear into your soldiers because your soldiers are armored they are pretty tough but it's best to not let them get ripped apart <laughs> needlessly I mean that sounds obvious and it maybe it is obvious but I decided to tell you that anyways so there you go all right let's see where to I kind of want to put another pylon out here so I can Hmm. Build more. Thicken up this defensive wall. I could put it right here. Which would do a little bit. But if I put it right here. Look, look, if we... If we here, let's raise up. If we put it right here. That would give us a large amount of space. Then we could just short up around it. I think I'm going to do that. All right, cool. Anything else to learn from here? Nope, nothing. We've gotten all the, the things I've unlocked. And there, excellent. All right, since we need to keep on progressing our you know, population and our workforce, I'm going to, see, just click on the cottage, just like with the tent to make it into a cottage, you click on the cottage, hit square, and upgrade a stone house. And it's just the cost difference between the two.
Okay, we need to build another um, another mill because that used up all our energy. So, how about right her? Yeah. And another one, right her. Great. Sniper is ready. Sniper is ready. Those guys will all come out together in a in a group. Let's go back to our our, our soldiers out here in the field. Looks like we've kind of got them. Let's go. All the the majority of the zombies that are in that area have come four at us already. That's good. Man, look at that. That's nice. <laughs> They're not even getting time to damage these wooden walls. <laughs> Much less anything else. <laughs> Sniper is ready. Sniper is ready. Okay, so I told you last time that we would build a some of these lookout towers. So let's build one right here. This will extend our Field, rain, or field of view, which can be useful. Yeah, let's not put it there. Let's put it right here. Uh, where? 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 We could put it over here, but I don't know if that'd be helpful enough. I think I'll put it right there. No, right here. That way, it's not boxy in that. That. Power. Oh, and right here, you see, there's still a few p parts of the wall that are not upgraded to stone, so we want to do that. Make sure that we're not depending on um, wooden walls for our main defense. And here, now we can also do this. Upgrade our t wooden towers to stone towers. And it, it's just, again, you pay the cost difference between the two. You can build new stone towers, but you can also just upgrade wooden towers. Bam! And this will give them an even better advantage of both defensive and, I think, uh, attack range and field of view. Now we don't have enough money, um, stone to do that right now, so let's just wait. They are almost done training. Alright. Alright. Come on. Come on. Sniper is ready. Actually, build this secondary wall out a little further. Attention. Building complete. Ah. Oh, you see? Now we have that uh, lookout tower right here. And then extended our field of view out nicely. Later in the game you can unlock radar towers instead of just these lookout towers and those give you a much broader field of vision. But now we can see what's out here a little better and I like to be able to see what we're dealing with. In fact, why don't we? Another cool thing, if we build one right here, or maybe right here, yes right here, it will clear this up so we can see a little bit further that way too. Which is pretty dang useful. Let's see, is that... Yes, our soldiers are all trained. You that's guys get up here. Kill. That's a certain mm -hmm. kill? Well, that's great. Let's train you. I mean, upgrade you. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Let's pause right quick. Let's see, let's upgrade some more houses. You have to really keep up on your... Ah, uh, what are we needing? Stone. All right. You do have to keep up on your uh, your building. You can't let that slide. Now, see, we could build this, extend this out with wood walls right now, but I think I'm gonna wait. These zombies are too close anyway, so it won't it won't allow us to build right near them until we clear them out. Yeah, lovely guy. Building completed. Okay, I first. And select just the snipers, and then square, go down to target the highest level, 
as their priority. Oh, shock! Look at that. Yes, a large incursion yes, right here. Wow. Ready and waiting. So let's get them all together. Yeah, whatever, dude. You need right. to get some medication, dude, or get Jesus or something. But they can end this little party real quick. <laughs> Nice. That was really easy. Good day to kill. Well, since we're killing zombies, I guess it is a good day to kill. I will kill our enemies. One of the important rules of any of these maps, any of the maps, whether you're playing survival mode or uh, the campaign mode, is you definitely want to not forget to clear out the map like we're doing now. Because if you don't, that final. Well, a couple things. One is that final swarm will be that much more devastating because they'll have so many extra zombies that will join in. Because all these ones that are on the field, and not just the ones on the field, but all the ones that are inside those these dang houses. Because I haven't shown you this yet, but as soon as you attack one of these buildings, tons of zombies start pouring out of them. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but it can be a bit dangerous. Okay, while they're doing that, I'm going to extend this wall a little bit more. And I'm going to, let's see, yes. Hmm, let me think. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna upgrade these towers right quick. Upgrade. Oh, and down here, this bulldozer, that's the, dis you know, the, the scrap function. It'll destroy it. So don't do that unless you mean to. That'll be kind of sad. All right. <laughs> yeah, you'll be a little bit sad and maybe mad at yourself for having scrapped something that you, you needed. I am going to, see right there that little, uh-oh, enemy's too close. Haha, I'm going to see if I can't sneak another Wasp turret right there. Oh, yeah. That's so pleasant. <laughs> Let's put one right there and one right there. And then since we're helping everybody out with extra wasp turrets, right there. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. We could put one right there. And one right here. See, as long as we don't block this off right here, this is the actual entryway. So we could put one right there, and we could put one right here. Yes, haha. -ha. Oh man, that's gonna just be, <laughs> that's gonna, don't count on any zombies getting through that too easily. But of course you have to not underestimate the zombies. They really can just ruin the best laid plans if you, under if you don't take them seriously. Let's see, are they coming? Well, here's a bunch of them coming right now. Look at that. Oh, wow. But you know what? I think I'm going to go and let the gates handle this. And I'm going to clear out that other side, too. And then we're going to attack. Uh-oh. No. There's see that harpy chasing us down. you got to be careful. Haha! -ha. Wow, that was. Hmm. That is a good. That's interesting. We might need to see about this, huh? You know what we could do? Whoops, not there. Energy building. Build another pylon. Boop, boop. Build another pylon. Boop, boop. I'm sorry. Um, ah, that's a good question. What to do? You know what we could do, actually? What is... Let's look at... Put another wasp turret. If we build a... Ah, that startled me for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, build one of these right here. 
and then build let's upgrade these I should build one more wasp turret one more turret there and that will maybe they'll draw the zombies as they're going in, who would go towards our quarry over that way okay Yeah, yeah. Slow, but lethal. Slow, but lethal. Nice target. Soft, but perishable. Okay, let's upgrade some more. good. Now let's upgrade some more houses. More houses. Oh, no, can't do it. Need more food. Oh, all right. I wasn't paying attention. See, easy to do. All right, let's build a more farms. Farm, farm, farm. Now later in the game, you can get adva the advanced farm, which will give you even more food than, which seems like crazy because you at least give so much, but you really do need a lot of um, you do need a lot of food in this game because you're so many units take it oh we can build one right here look at this you know what I think I'm gonna build one right here yes it's near my housing but you know what this gives us colonists and we do need the, the, the uh, we don't have enough resources all right that's fine we'll build farms on this strip and we're gonna build lots of houses in this sort of dead area but um, you do need the food for the to make soldiers and to make um, housing, and farms give you tel twelve colonists anyway. It's a piece. Advanced farms give you even more. I'm going to add a few more soldiers then. Ah, we have. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then three more snipers. Oh no, two more snipers. We need more food. That's fine. Okay, let's go. Hee ho. Oh, look, right here. You can probably build fishing huts right here along this area. I said there wasn't any water, but apparently there is. I just forgot it on the side. <laughs> but in our initial area, there was no water. As you can see, more and more soldiers are getting veteran status, so that's really good. Ah, uh, this is another iron deposit, and of course this is another stone deposit we could take advantage of if we really needed. I think your arrows taste like death! <laughs> Bam this! Bam! Uh, uh. See, we're drawing. One of the good things about doing this out, fighting like this out here, is the sound is drawing out uh, those harpies. You know, one, two, three at a time. But every harpy that's you know <laughs> runs out here to attack us in the field is one more harpy that's not <laughs> going to be you know running out at us later on. Okay, let's see. We have three soldiers here. I know undo one of those guys and actually put in another sniper okay now we have more food but we need some more energy you see it we're at 21 we're not done but before we wind up not having enough power let's build another mill where to build it though this is one of the you start to having to figure out clever <laughs> creative places to stick things okay one thing you can do is you can put houses, mills, and other buildings on the peripheries of farms. It's a useful thing to remember. 
I'm gonna build it right there, in fact. Yeah. Now, pause again. I shouldn't have unpaused. Let's upgrade. 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 Oh, uh, no, we need more energy. All right, well, while that works, that's good though. You see we are up to 732 colonists, which is not bad. We're not, we're about a little bit more than a third of the way to our population mark. Oh wow, there's more harpies. Yeah, look at them come. Building complete. Now, some of, those, some of those harpies could just be out there in the field, it's true. I am not entirely certain. But some of them will come from the town, from the villages of Doom. Oh, look at that. Wow, chubbies and harpies and regular fast zombies. Oh, let's see what the attack is looking like. Because when it tells you they're attacking the colony defenses, that is when you're not looking at that. Like right now, I, they wouldn't say that. But since I was over there. But that means they're actually starting to do damage. You see right there, it got dinged a little bit. So it's good to at least pause and check it out. This is nothing. That's a big deal. Ah, look, here, we built this other lookout tower. Let's look at what we, it shows us. Eh, okay. It makes it so we see a little bit better over here. You see, it gives us a view up to here. That's fine. But I like to be able to see. Some people don't care. There is a, there are what you call like wonder buildings or structures that are wonders that give you some sort of big super boost or power or a, you know, addition to your colony. Some of them are pretty good, some of them are, I don't know, a bit redundant and not as efficient or resource-wise as just building more structures, but like one of them is a upgrade for your command center that reveals the entire map, which can be useful, but it costs a lot, so I don't know. But if you do like that sort of like, you know, dispel the fog, <laughs> It is there. And if you're playing the survival mode, you don't have to unlock it, you just have to get the resources and the conditions to, to build it. Whereas in, in the campaign mode, in the campaign mode, you do have to unlock it at, uh, on your tech tree. But it's not something. that bad. Do you need to kill something, pal? Alright. Well, let's, um, Last again. I think you need to have it, uh, go on vacation there, pal. You are really weird. Okay, let's see how we're doing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put another. I really love these things. See, like they're so cost efficient. One energy, 10 iron, 320 gold. And yes, you do have to pay two gold for their upkeep per um, every six turns. It lowers the amount of income you get by two. But we're at 1,050 gold per eight hours. And see, we've maxed out our gold right now. So we don't actually need to um, be too concerned. We don't need to be stingy. What do I want to do? Do I want to put another? Yeah, let's put a ballista tower right here to help cover this area. We don't want to, you know, be letting that get taken Units down. Uh-oh, okay, so that's usually something, that's usually that again, that means that you're, the, units, the units that are somewhere on the map that you're not looking at are taking damage. Sometimes it's, it's nothing, but like that, they, they overcome it. Okay, man. But it could be the case that they're getting overrun and you do need to pause the game. Go find them and help them out. Oh, they're doing really well. Oh, more chubbies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, chubby. A little more. Two more chubbies. But see, those snipers are on the case. But even the soldiers can really do a number on them. Wow, look at that. <laughs> we are... Yeah, see? Oh, look at that. We're just drawing out of this building right here. See? We're starting to empty. Uh-oh. They are... Okay, they're trying to get into the buildings. That means they're attacking our actual structures. See, these stupid zombies are... Ah, uh, they're getting over here anyways. I might have to do something about that, but not right now. <laughs> I mean, why take care of your problems now when you can deal with them later? Let's see, where are you guys? All right, yes, you guys, you get up here. Because we are having a lot of heat. 
walls are under attack. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's nothing. Our buildings are being attacked. You know what I'm going to do? How about we build one right here? <laughs> I mean, yeah, these slow little zombie incursions, they're probably not gonna... Every building has, like, a barrier. If you look at it, uh, at its health, you see a building that's more in the clear. Oh, you see this house? You see how it's, its life bar? The, there's a part that's green and a part that's yellow. The part that's green is its actual, like, um, its hit points. It has 500 hit points, a stone house. But that yellow part is its, is its barrier or it's, it's defensive barriers, at least, you know. And so it's like kind of like armor for the buildings. As long as, and that's the, the zombies have to like get through the, the barrier first before they can infect or even just damage a building actually. As long as they, or at least, I mean, infect a building. I don't know, maybe they did damage it. Anyways, but so if you look at this one, it still has a little bit of its barrier left. And you, there's ways to increase the strength of your bar building barriers. Ah, those snipers are really doing a good job of killing those slow zombies. If those were a bunch of fast zombies, I think that that building would already be um, infected. I'm going to add them to that group. Man. Oh man, those harpies are really coming. Okay, it's day 47. Day 47. That means that swarm is almost here. So let's look at, where, at our what we're dealing with. You know what I'm going to do? Hmm. Let's see. Let's build another wasp turret right where? Let's put one right here. And put another one right here. And right here and right here. And then what we're going to do is build some more. No, right right there. And then we're going to make this a little thicker too. Hmm. Let's look over here. Okay. Ah, so many dang zombies. I want to actually... No, actually, let's do this first. Let's make this stone. Let's actually do some damage repair. Some repair. Oh, pardon me. Some repair work. Okay, let's let that finish repairing. All right, and then upgrade. Ah, good. Now, what I think I'm gonna do is build. Build a little bit of a defensive thing around this building, and build some more. Wasps. Okay, where else? Where else? Maybe right here? Right here? I don't know. Let me think. Where? Right there. Right there. I think that's pretty good, actually. We don't have enough resources, we're out of iron. Okay, well, that's fine. But what we do need to do is be sure that we get our army back in time. They are really doing a great job of emptying this place out. Look at this. <laughs> Let's build another a mill, since we're running low on energy. There. Where else? I mean, you just eventually have to start putting places, you know, like dirt, dirt, dirt. Huh? Oh, yeah. I was like, why is it not? Let me build one. Okay, right there. I 
thing I'm gonna do is bring our start bringing our group back. A little bit. Look at that. Man, they're just grinding them. This is this is really cool. See, these buildings are actually this is good because these remember I said that each one of these buildings is full of freaking zombies? Well, you can um if you're not careful you can get overrun just by um, the zombies that are in these villages of doom inside the buildings hearing you and they'll come out and they can over they can swarm you but you can also um, start to empty out these villages of doom by ma making a ruckus like we're doing one last thing I wanted to make sure I remember to tell you that every building like this each zombie uh, village of doom building a dwelling of doom this dwelling was infected a long time ago well, every one of these buildings, the City Hall of Doom, this was once a great city hall for the village. What was once a, oh my gosh, reading, can you do it? What was once a great city hall for the village is now a dark place of doom, full of the infected. Every one of these buildings is now full of infected, but it also, once you level them, you raise them, there's uh, resources to be had. Yeah, free resources. Sometimes even out in the field, you just find sort of little random piles of resources, which are really useful, especially in the beginning. Sometimes you can find, at the beginning of a map, you might find, uh, like, deposits of, of, like, iron, like, ten free iron, which is enough to get yourself five soldiers, which, I mean, nice at the beginning of a map, that is quite an advantage. Oh, harpy, 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 get it? Yeah! All right. All right. Let's see, should we go back now? I thought there'd be more coming out. Oh, they're, they're still coming. Attention. Yeah. Building Let's go a little further again. All right. See, there's a whole still a bunch of them. <laughs> we really do need to reduce the numbers in here because once... They're coming from the south. So what we need to do here is uh, we want to bring our QRF back inside. I smell this coming. Yeah, well, you smell properly, pal. Like a snake with its prey. <laughs> like a snake with its prey. I want to bring them to back over here so they can support the, yeah. the defenders on the wall. Because one of the things they can do is, if by chance the zombies break through the walls, they can really uh, short it up really easily. And I don't want the zombies cracking our defenses and then just making a run on it. Because you know what will happen is they'll, they'll say they get through right here, then they'll infect, 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 and then they'll come over here and infect, infect, then they'll hit these farms. A lot of buildings only make a few zombies when they're infected, but hit like a farm tons of infected zombies fly out of it and then they'll infect this farm and this farm and this farm then they'll come across tracks and then it's like oh geez it's not necessarily over but they start hitting your houses and just house after house after house and you just wave of zombies and you have to like get your soldiers in there and try to beat them back because then they'll swarm your command center and yes it has a lot of defensive barrier you look at it it's got a good size barrier pretty me look at 5,000 hit points but it you know too many zombies and it just you know that's game over real quick. Sometimes I even like to put walls around my housing district. And maybe I should have done that this time too, but, and, but, I don't know. You don't always need to. You just have to be very careful to, and take your defenses seriously. Oh, look, right here. And here's something that is stupid. Don't leave unupgraded sections of your wall. Another thing you can do, which is pretty handy at times, is if you look, if you see, it looks like you're starting to get overrun, like the walls are starting to really get hurt, you can build an inside secondary wall that seals off that area, and then if the zombies get through too much, you can pull your troops out and go behind that through a gate, and then continue to defend. I've held off lots of zombie swarms that way. Uh oh, here comes the, the horde. The next swarm is on it, is, is about to become, oh, here it is, again, right here, it's right here. In fact, you know, what would be a smart idea? I don't know why I didn't do that before, because I wasn't thinking. Why don't we put a AMSYS? 
the tower right here. I could also put another wasp turret right here. And one right here. See, unlike the the other two, the what do you call it, the ballista towers or the the Attention. the Maybe towers for soldiers, wait. you can put um, wasps right next to each other, which is really useful. Last night I dreamt of brains exploding. I'm going to actually have you guys come out. Slow, but for Here we go! Let's see if they even get past this. Look at those those guns go. And a couple more guns are about to come online too. Yeah, yeah. Ah, see, now we can see. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. That is a lot of freaking zombies. But look how stupid they are. They're so stupid. It's like they, they, they're like rush hour traffic. That's how stupid we are when we drive in on the freeway during rush hour too. It's like we could all move forward. There's enough space, but no, no, no. We just all cram into this little tiny area. And so that really slows them down, which is kind of cool. <laughs> They're almost like a, a, like a viscous fluid. Have you ever lo looked at rush hour traffic, especially if you see it from above, but or you're, you're above the freeway and you can see how like, like when the one lane's trying to merge into another, it's like, yeah, it's individual cars, but from a sort of a macro level, it's almost like a very v viscous fluid that's slowly oozing along these pipelines, you know, the, the freeway. It's kind of an interesting way to look at traffic patterns and zombies, zombie swarms. And I do, I do wonder if, you know, you on a sort of a macro level, fluid dynamics would be a accurate way to map this stuff out. <laughs> Look at that. Stupid zombies. Yeah, we got this game for them. You can hear the villagers, like, the colonists going, yes, yes, yes. I mean, I don't blame them. Yeah, I think we got these. Okay, we're still getting swarmed over here. Or the incursions are still coming. Over here is pretty quiet for now. Okay, oh, see, like, look how empty this place is. So many of the zombies have already attacked us, so that's really good. That's really good. So let's, while we're, you know, make use of that pause function. And let's do some more upgrading. And let's build another mill, because, you know, we've run out of energy again. Yeah, let's put one right. Her. I put one right. Oh, there's too many right there. Right her. Look at that. That is, I don't know, I, I find that to be pretty cool. <laughs> look at this. If you look at this right here, this gun right here isn't even getting any play. <laughs> because those soldiers are just like, and those snipers are just wrecking their crap so bad. <clears throat> oh, that's the end of the swarm right there. Stupid zombies. What sort of zombies are they? Infecting colonists. Infected fresh. So these are all pretty fat zombies. It's just they don't do well in large numbers around tight corners like that. <laughs> There's a sharp turn right there and they do not handle it very well. Now let's see. Let's get some more houses upgraded. Uh, can we upgrade it? No, we need more food. Can we build another farm? Yes, we can. Let's see, where should we build this farm though? Maybe we should build over here.
There, three more farms. Nice. Let's go back over here. Where we continue. Actually, let's just tell me what to kill. Let's tell them to go right. Let's go. Attack move right let's to here. Get some of those soldiers up in there. Yeah, look at them. They're still coming in decent numbers. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we're going to want to upgrade that to stone once we're done with this. Uh, right here. Ah, good. Our farms are built, which is good. Good, good, good. Let's upgrade you as well. Alright, cool. Look at that. We're, we've upgraded all these buildings, and we've upgraded these, and now we just have this section to upgrade, and then we can start building more houses over here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Man, zombies are stupid. Which is exactly how they should be, because they're zombies, you know, they're death, not smart. Lovely death. I can't stand games where zombies are like, Attention. not stupid, it's like, how does a rotten brain work halfway decently at all? Doesn't make any dang sense. Like a snake with its brain. I will kill our enemies! Alright, well, that has taken care of that, and so... First things first, as I just said I was going to do, let's upgrade this section of wall. Bam. And let's make some repairs. Bam. Is that everything? Yes. So our quick reaction force and or strike force, I guess right now it's being a strike force. This also functions as a quick reaction force. So they're going to continue to make their incursion into the villages of doom. The village of doom. Oh, look at that. Haha. -ha. And I think next time... We are going to clear out this area and we're going to do any last final beefing up of our defenses because I think, let's see what days till we have till? We have till 75. So continue. That Our last swarm is on day 60. Now that is going to be, that's the final swarm and it's also going to be the most powerful one. And you saw what we had right there. That wasn't really too bad. Uh, largely because of the, how stupid those zombies are and the fact that they, instead of just all rushing around here and attacking us all at once, they sort of like all wanted to be, you know, number one around the corner. <laughs> like stupid people in traffic and rush hour. Like, ah, man. It's you know, that's some zombie-like behavior right there, I suppose. And so they really did not do a good job of turning that corner. But you can't count on that all the time. But sometimes they really will just burst right through, race over to your walls and tear it to pieces. And then you'll be sad. So, let's see. They're going to keep on fighting and they're, they're going to continue having, drawing enemies until there's no more left. So, for now, Okay, we've gotten more workers. Look at that. We have 107 workers, 936 colonists. Let's build one more mill for... Oh, no. Mill. Full mill. Let's build another mill. Where should we put it? I think we'll put it right here. Yeah. All right. And I think that's going to be that for today. For this episode, I mean. And so... Thank you again for joining me on my Let's Play tutorial of... I keep on wanting to say they might be giants. <laughs> um, they are billions. And and uh, next time we will... Uh, take care of the Village of Doom and destroy the... Or withstand the final onslaught of the last sw Day 60 Swarm. Alright, thank you for joining me on my Let's Play tutorial on... They are billions here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Take care, y'all.